Okay, let's take a look around this uh, 2002 Land Rover Defender 110 TD5 um, double cab with uh, full length brown church type roof rack and uh, Eiffel Williams uh, alloy back on it. Now, please don't for a minute think that this is um, a show queen or anything like that. If you want to buy one to go posing down the pub to show your mates, uh, this probably isn't the, uh, isn't the one for you. This is a working vehicle um, that has been worked hard uh, but beautifully maintained and uh, and it has an excellent structure. It's just come into us from our local wildlife trust. Uh, we tend to uh, take all the defenders when they've uh, when they finish with them. They've had this one I think since about 2004, 2005. Um, showing just under 81,000 miles. Impeccable service history. Uh, always serviced by the same specialist. Um, local to us here in Oxford. Um, dries beautifully. So yeah, if you want one that's a workhorse that's capable of doing still doing a job of work um but you know it's got a few knocks and scrapes on it this may well work for you but if you want to uh, say a show queen look away now shall we say um finished in green i can't remember if this is coniston or eastern green in quite a few areas the paint has um, has faded virtually every panel's got a dink and a donk in it um but the chassis is superb on it in my opinion um interior looks like a wild animal's got in there which may be the case actually given it's a wildlife reserve but uh, we'll come on to that anyway um standard spec it's got a checker plate on the wing tops it's got two of its original four side steps still fitted although both of them have been uh, whacked on trees so they're a bit bent probably don't fold up anymore in fairness um michelin 750 by 16 off-road tires on it as i say this one um this one came from uh their site out near bampton which i think is um is a wetland area um so it's not been in salt it's just uh, been in sort of a, a wetland bit um but they do need those 750 by 16s on them uh for their sort of work it's also got adjustable tow pack on it um inside it's still got its original radio cassette it's also oddly this one's also got electric front windows anyway i'm not gonna outline every single mark and blemish on it or else we'll all be here all day um, I'll just sort of run the camera over various areas and you can decide for yourself. Loads of scratches on the bonnet. Bumper's lost a fair bit of its uh, black painting, black coat. A bit of grass still stuck there behind the number plate. Looking down the side, usual dents in the barrel sides. show you underneath up here on the scuffle and screen now inside as I say um, looks like uh, somebody's chewed a lot of it a lot of it dash top here chewed and chewed passenger seat actually isn't too bad that's uh still it's got its full mat set in fact the near side door card isn't too bad either let's have a look because this has got the early type doors on it what the doors are like door frames feel spot on that one certainly does near side front um headlining bit grubby but it's all there not sagging Driver's seat's a right mess, but we'll come on to that. Cubby box has lost its lid. Um, near side rear door, big dent, dent there. A few scratches on it. Some reaction down there. More importantly, C post, excellent. Uh, in the back here, again, looks like a dog has, I presume it's a dog rather than a lion, has, uh, been having a good old chew, lots of ingrained dirt. We've done what we can with it, but uh, can't really get it much cleaner, I'm afraid, without um, really going to town on it, which we're not really prepared to do. Near side rear wing, big scrape there, paint loss there, down the back there. Again, let's go underneath it. Now, 
around the tail end we deliberately haven't repainted the back of the rear cross member i'd rather you see it as it is um the grab handle there has obviously been reversed into something let's go up here spare wheels in the back um looking down the offside again barrel side covered in dents slight dent there um paint's lost its color on the barrel side there let's have a look underneath here It's important to remember this one's never ever had any advisories or failures on its MOT. Um, other ones we've had from the Wildlife Trust have also been um, maintained within an inch of their lives, just like this one, so it's uh, no surprise to us. Offside rear door card, again, lion or tiger, who knows. <laughs> Some things uh, decided to chew it. Headrest is taped up, seat there. Back seat's a bit grubby, but no more than that really on the on the faces of it. D post. As I say, it's not a show queen this one. It's a worker. Um, offside front door, slight dink in the barrel side there. Offside front wing is now starting to lose its not its lacquer as such, but it's starting to lose its shine. Um, scuff a corner. I'd rather people didn't start going, oh, it's in terrible condition. No, it's not. The structure is the important thing, and the structure on this is superb. Actually, I haven't looked at the other doors, but uh, if the offside, near side front is anything to go by, yeah, that one's fine as well. Uh, this one in the usual areas is very good, down the back there, and underneath here is good. I'll assume the other one is as well, because I can't see any. Normally, you get sort of a line of rust uh, when you've opened the door and there isn't anything like that on there at all so uh, we'll assume that one's good as well slightly dented around the offside of the front wing and again we'll look in here so this one's not going to be for everybody if you want a proper working defender this one should be pretty high on your list especially as there's uh, reclaimable VAT on it so um, there we have it. My name's Simon. You can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495. We can go to our website, which is www.moto, that's M O T O hyphen drome, D R O M E dot com. End.